At the top of add quote PHP, please open and close a PHP bracket. Next, we can check our user is logged in by checking that we have an admin session. And if our user is logged in, we actually want to do everything on this page. So go right down to the end of the page, open and close a PHP bracket. And at this point, we can close our user logged on if and send them back to the login page if they're not logged on. We can then go back to the start of the file. And if the user is logged in, we want to get all the subjects from the database. I've set up some SQL to do this for us and I'm selecting everything from my all subjects table and I'm ordering it alphabetically by subject. I'm also using our autocomplete function to retrieve the subject. I'm going to set up three variables and I've called them tag one, two and three. And those tag variables are going to hold a subject and I've set up three tag IDs which are going to hold the subject ID. Go down to our first subject input field and we can replace the P tags with div tags and a class of autocomplete. And we need to put in an ID of subject one. Then we want to go down into our script area and we can set up a JavaScript variable called all tags and open and close a PHP bracket. And in this case, because it's JavaScript, we need to use the print command. We're wanting to print out our all subjects, remembering to finish with a semicolon. To implement autocomplete on our subject one field, we need autocomplete. And we're going to use document get element by ID. So at this point, we have another set of brackets. And we're going to use the subject one ID. And if we scroll up, we can double check that our ID matches the ID that we're using. And all of our subjects were inside a long list called all tags. So we can save. And when I reload my add quote field, if I go to subject one, I can start typing. And you'll notice that I get the subjects coming up. I can use my down arrow and enter to select subjects that already exist in my database. So your next job is to systematically make subject two and subject three into autocomplete fields. It's a great idea to do this one at a time. Here's what I mean. Let's grab our subject two, replace the P tags with our div tags, and put in the ID of subject two. Then go back into our script area, put in the autocomplete, and reload. You'll immediately notice that you have a slight issue but the great news is that our drop down is working. We can add space between our fields by putting in two break fields between our subject one and subject two input fields. We can then set up our subject three, remembering to put in an ID of subject three, back into our script area, put in our subject three autocomplete, reload our page, and check that all three subject fields behave correctly. In the next video, we're going to do something similar to pre-populate our author field.